Kharkov, Bulgaria, where we're here for the FIBA World Cup qualifications. Bulgaria home team taking on Lithuania. Game day five, Group F action. Last time these two teams went up against each other was back in November. And Lithuania won that one, 89 to 69. There you see it, Lithuania 4-0. They have already qualified for the second round of these FIBA qualification games. Bosnia and Herzegovina in second, Bulgaria in third over the Czech Republic who are in fourth place. So I mentioned those two teams have already played against each other. That game was played in Lithuania. By any chance, will Bulgaria and their fans be able to pull off what many, almost all, I'm sure, would consider an upset over Lithuania? It's sport, it's basketball, anything can happen. And there you see some of the first timers in these qualification games suiting up for Lithuania. We just saw number nine, Iggy Brasdakis, who many of you know played at Michigan in the NBA now. And then of course you saw in that photo the captain, the well-known Lithuanian veteran, Marius Grigonis is making his appearance, which he always does at major competitions for Lithuania. Number 40. And then again for Bulgaria, we're gonna need a big, big game by that guy right there. Dibost, he's gonna need to come out. He's gonna give a spark. He knows what it takes to play at this kind of a level. He stepped up, played for, Bulgaria twice already in these qualification games. Can he do it? He plays against a lot of these Lithuanian players in EuroLeague, in VCL championship games. So he's been around the block. He knows what he needs to do to get ready as well. So we're gonna have a quick pause for the playing of the national anthems. First up is Lithuania. And now for the national anthem of Bulgaria.
Well, the fans are excited. No surprise, the Lithuanian fans made it the, all the way to Bulgaria. They like to travel and follow their country's national sport, most likely. I'm sure a lot of countries would like to say that, but if you know anything about those Lithuanians, they love their basketball. And two teams exchanging gifts, wishing a little bit of good luck to each other, but not too much good luck. see both teams coming out ready to warm up. Here are the referees for tonight. Marius Chiulin, Mehmet Shaheen, and Marik Kukulic. They will be calling today's game. And we talk about it's an honor for the players, but it's also an honor for the referees to, to have an opportunity to ref at this level and at this kind of a competition. And Lithuania's coach, Max Vitis, there he is, taking over. Uh, he took over in November of the national team program. Obviously, he's been around in the younger, the younger programs, U16, U20. Had a lot of success with them, and now he's been given the opportunity to take over as the national team head coach. So you're sure he is proud and wants to continue the success and maybe, if possible, get Lithuania back on the podium because it's been a while since they have had a podium finish. So starting five tonight for Lithuania, we have Siderskis, and you see Iggy there, number nine, Birutis, uh, Grigonis, no surprise, and number 30, Jezuskas. So, number nine and number 40 haven't participated so far in this competition, in these games, but they're getting the start. And there you see, like I said, he's also the new coach of uh, Zalgiris Kaunas. So he was coaching over in Russia, left in February, and now has been given two great opportunities. And like I mentioned, the last time Lithuania medaled at the World Cup was back in 2010. So they have been at all the previous World Cups after that. They just haven't been able to get on the podium. Let's see what they can do. So here we go, Bulgaria's starting five. Like I mentioned, D. Bost, he's gonna have to have a big game. Kostov, Stoilov, and Marinov, along with Vezenkov, are gonna be starting tonight for Bulgaria. Well, looks like they're also warming up the rims. And there, Bulgaria's head coach is Brachovsky. So maybe a little bit of pressure, not so much pressure, not sure. We do know that Lithuania has already qualified for the second round of this competition. Bulgaria, not so much. Out of the four teams in their group, they need to finish top three. Right now they are sitting at third place, but they are tied with the Czech Republic with one win each. Both the Czech Republic and Bulgaria beat each other, but Bulgaria won by nine points and the Czech Republic only won by three. So they have the slight edge as far as the advantage goes. So one minute left until tip off. I think this is gonna be a good one. You can hear the fans, everyone's excited. People know if Bulgaria can get a win over Lithuania, it'll probably go down in history. And like I mentioned, those Lithuanian fans, they travel in numbers. They love their team. And I'm sure that they're gonna be wanting to go to the next World Cup, which will be held between three countries, the Philippines, Japan, and Indonesia in 2023. have already secured a place in the next phase of qualifying but the points are of course carried over to the second phase so every game matters even though they could secure qualification to phase two today they want to pick up as many points as possible heading into the next stage of qualifying because it does get tough only a top two finish in the group of six in the second phase guarantees a place at the world cup finishing third is uh, a possible place 
It'll basically come down to the two best third place or the two third place teams in the uh, second phase of qualifying. And the one who has the better record overall will make it through to the World Cup. So top two in phase two to guarantee a place at the tournament. That is still a long way away. The only priority for all of these players can be what happens over the next couple of hours here in Kigali. It's a big game for both teams for very different reasons. We are almost ready to get things underway here. So South Sudan against Rwanda. Here in Kigali, the Rwandan capital. Second half of the first round of qualifying. And the battle to become one of the African representatives at the World Cup next year. Foul straight from tip off. South Sudan in the Black, Rwanda, the hosts in the yellow. And South Sudan protecting, uh, protecting rather that 100% record so far in qualifying. Looking for the bright start early on here, and that is pretty much the perfect start. As a Nuni Omot, one of their top performers in the first three games, gets the scoreboard ticking with the first two. Can Rwanda respond? Strong defense there from South Sudan. Gorkwani doing well there. So it's been a strong start here for the group leaders. Sunday Deck here, wearing number 44. Kwani dispossessed. And here is Gasana. Goes for the long two, can't get it to go. Well claimed by uh, Sunday Deck. This is pretty much the start that South Sudan would have wanted. They have the early lead, trying to increase that early on here. Three-point opportunity. And the rebound claimed by Umpoyo. Kendall Gray just handing it off there to Ndia Sava, Ndia Zaye. And the foul is called. Gorkwani. Poyo drawing that foul. A chance to go to the line early on here and get some points on the board for Rwanda. Big cheer as that first one drops. Two for two. Alex and Pollo. His first points of the game. South Sudan looking to respond here. Almost the steal from uh, Deng Akwath. There's another who impressed in the first three games for South Sudan, averaging uh, over half an hour on court per game, more than anybody else. Now, Rwanda 
Looking to take the lead for the first time and just a little bit lax at the... And that occasion there, the South Sudan players and allowing Rwanda to steal the lead. And the response not quite coming here. Quoth does well to win the rebound. Three-point attempt is no good. And Quoth trying to claim that rebound again. It's another three-point attempt. It's missed by Kual. And still Rwanda with a 4-2 lead. South Sudan starting to miss a lot of their attempts here. Kasana looking for a way through, has drawn the foul. And it's another trip to the line here. And the hosts are finding their feet here in this contest. A good early beginning. A driving run from Kasana. Drawing the foul. Can't add to the two points he picked up just a few moments ago. Gets a second free throw here to make it a three-point lead with almost three minutes played in this first quarter. No mistake this time from Kenny Gasana. And the steal there from Gasana. Having a big impact early on here. Three-point attempt is no good. Alex and Poyo almost doubling Rwanda's lead there. Sunday Deck, that's a good pass. Great defense. What a block from Kendall Gray. Three point attempt at the other end, no good. And Croft claiming the rebound. Sunday Deck goes for the three, and this time he nails it. First three of the game. Kasana drawing another foul here. Bounce pass and the three-point attempt, no good from Robbins. Haven't quite found their range when getting those shots from distance. We've had just one three-pointer so far. Came from a Sunday Dedge, the layup here, no good. The rebound easily claimed and thrown down by Dengakwath. His first two points, and South Sudan back in the lead again, 7-5. Almost halfway through the first quarter here. Rwanda looking to respond. Foul called again. So for the third time here in this first quarter, Rwanda get a, a trip to the foul line. They've made three from four overall. No mistake from Kendall Gray. First point of the game for him. And doesn't make the second, though. 
as South Sudan maintain an advantage. Just the one point in it so far. Five minutes played. Sunday Detch looks to float it. It's a great block by Gray again. And there is the answer. A second three-pointer for South Sudan, who open up a four-point lead. Kual getting that one away. Missed two there from Rwanda. And South Sudan here with a chance to extend that advantage. The foul. Most goal interference in the end, uh, two points awarded to uh, South Sudan. Timeout called for the first time in the game. South Sudan have opened up a six point lead. With a bit of a flurry in the last couple of minutes. And they'll be pretty happy with the start here. Rwanda have called the first time out of the game. No surprise that a timeout was called there by Rwanda. Things had just started to go against them. South Sudan had started to gather real momentum. And the hosts here looking for a quick response. Try and close that gap, which has become six points. Kenny Gasana gets it back again from Kendall Gray. Three-point attempt is blocked. Might get another opportunity here, Robbins. Ran out of time. 24-second violation. It's a reasonably promising start to this quarter from Rwanda. It's just unraveled a little bit in the last couple of minutes. Rwanda taking this opportunity just to make a couple of changes. Hagamintwari is on, Habimana too. And uh, Shobos Wabio Senemukiza. All three of those have been introduced to the court here. A lot of discussions going on between the officials and the coaches. The 
be getting back underway here with just under four minutes left in the first quarter. Six point lead for South Sudan. This is Habimana. And Torre Habimana has just come onto the court. And the three point attempt, no good. It's an easy gather for Denga Kwof, who's claimed a number of rebounds already into the corner for a three point attempt. And it bounces away and out of bounds. And Simpoyo's got a bit of an issue here, it seems. Just seemed to fall awkwardly, didn't he? It's a little concerning. It might have just been the way he landed. Although getting some treatment. That left eye at the moment. Thought initially just landed awkwardly, maybe just caught accidentally. And he's made way for Fuhara now. And he gets uh, a bit of uh, attention. Pimana. Shopo Swabio Senemukiza. And it's a turnover. It's a man. Uh, who's uh, come on in the last minute or so, set the record for number of steals in a game. You may remember it was against South Sudan as well a couple of years back, 14 in total. World record. And that is another three-pointer that is going to do some serious damage to Rwanda here. It's a nine-point lead, and it's been a long time since Rwanda troubled the scoreboard. Ngorkwani draining it from distance. Almost the turnover there, it has gone out of bounds. Again, it goes the way of South Sudan. Into the corner. Long two is no good. Rebound well claimed. Hagamindwari did well there, and now it's turned over. Paddy at Wang. A foul is called. Gorkwani drawing the foul there. Got five points already. Chance to add to those. Free throw missed, so it is an 11-point lead. It's 
South Sudan very much in control at the moment. Trying to extend that advantage. And they've got it back again here. It's a nice pass. There's another foul. Kochden Agwabar has uh, only just made an appearance here, drawing the foul and getting the chance to knock a couple of free throws down here and extend the advantage. 12 points, the difference. Two from two. Big lead opening up here. So going to be turned over again. Kept that intensity up in this first quarter here. South Sudan really making life difficult for the hosts. Hakim Intuari was in real trouble there. Just about got away with it in the end. Robbins, three-point attempt is missed. Another foul is called. Farahara, who drew the foul. He was just being held back as that three point attempt came in. Chance here to get some points on the board again. Most of them have come from free throws. In this first quarter so far, for Rwanda, the trail by 13. Cadeau de Dieu, Faraha makes the first and can Make it two from two here. And they really needed those points. It is still a double digit advantage for South Sudan who are making quick progress here. Three point attempt, no good. The rebound is not put away. And eventually, Rwanda just about get themselves out of trouble. Again, it's great pressure following the loss of possession. South Sudan are so quick to try and uh, press their opponents and regain possession whenever they lose it. And they've done it pretty successfully over the course of this first quarter so far. Just over a minute left. It's a rather cheap foul. Shubo's Wabio Senemukisa making the first of his uh, free throws. This to take Rwanda to double digits. That's exactly what he does. Two from two. Gatkoff then sending that out of bounds. 
the misplaced pass. Robbins. Very little time left on the shot clock here for Rwanda. Going to have to be quick to make something happen now. to get the shot away in time, but no joy for William Robbins. Chance for the three at the other end of the court. And Machop Deng makes no mistake. A 12-point lead restored, but a quick response. And Shobo Zwabio, Senna Kiza making it a total of five for him. And quickly restoring a single-digit deficit, and he's stolen it again here and almost adding another three points. Just another attempt on the buzzer, no good. As the first quarter comes to a close. Well, Rwanda making that three late on to cut the deficit to nine. So it looks a little better on the scoreboard than it might have done, but overall pretty satisfying in that first quarter for South Sudan, who came into this game with just uh, one win needed to secure a place in the next stage of qualifying, and they lead at the end of the first by nine, 22 to 13. Well, Rwanda, as you can see there, going for three pointers on a number of occasions, one from 11 in that uh, first quarter there, just 9% made, and it was uh, almost right at the end of that first quarter. 40% for South Sudan, four from 10, much better. They have a, a comfortable, good-looking lead here. And they actually started pretty well, the hosts got themselves in front early on. And a lead of three in the very early stages, up 5-2. And once they fell behind, then they never managed to get themselves in front again. It's been a case of the points being shared by the uh, South Sudan players so far. A number of them have already managed to get themselves on the board, picking up points in this first quarter. Gorkwani with uh, five, he's top scoring for them at the moment. Five points as well for Jean-Jacques. And Shobos Wabio Senemukiza, who wasn't a starter for Rwanda, but he's picked up five points in under four minutes since making his appearance. He hit the three-pointer late in that first quarter just to give his team a little bit of a boost. Don't forget, you can uh, download the app to keep across all the uh, qualifiers from all over the world. A lot going on today in Kigali, of course, including the two games in this group, Group B, Cameroon and Tunisia to meet later on this evening. The host Rwanda still looking for their first win in qualifying. None from three so far for them. It's three from three for South Sudan and a win Today, this evening, secures their place at the World Cup, at the second stage of the World Cup qualifying. But because the uh, points are carried over to phase two, the games tomorrow and indeed on Sunday will also be significant for South Sudan, even if they do secure that place in the next phase today. But 
We're underway again. Rwanda 13, South Sudan 22. And the action from Group B. Continuing here in Kigali, the Rwandan capital. The home fans not getting the outcome that they wanted at the moment, but a long way to go. And a good start to this second quarter. Might just change the complexion of this game. Shobo Swazio, Senna going for the three-pointer again, looking for his second top scorer for the host with five points so far. And that is another blow to Rwanda. And it's another three. South Sudan. We've got a double-digit deficit again. And Gorkwani now with eight points in the game. Just made his second three-pointer to make it a 12-point lead, 25 to 13. Robbins. Came off the foot of uh, Bullcoal there. Happy mana. Oh, gets it to go. Torre Happy Mana. Makes it a 10 point difference. Again, the response coming quickly here from South Sudan and Kwal drawing the foul. He'll go to the line. Clear as well. You can see the grab of the arm. Bigger and Wami. Cool missing the first of the free throws here. And no mistake with the second. Three-point attempt is good, much needed. Knocked down expertly by Robbins there. And Rwanda picking up their second three-pointer of the game. Decision going the way of South Sudan that time, though. Sunday Desh drawing the foul. It wasn't a foul awarded in the end, but here come 
Sad Sudan, another missed opportunity. Kendall Gray with a rebound. Three point attempt is no good. Very well claimed though by Kwani. Into the corner, three pointer attempted. No joy this time. Kendall Gray just trying to spin away there. Hasn't quite had the impact that he would have liked. There was that big block early on that really got the crowd going. He's got just one point to his name so far. And managed just uh, one rebound as well. Hasn't had the opportunities that he would have hoped for at this stage in the game. He can make a big difference. Sunday Detch. Turnover not quite completed there. Padia Wang did well to recover. Three point attempt was not too far away. Gasana. And that's another three-point attempt. No good there this time from Nshobo Zwabio Senemakiza. He hit one attempt early on, but he's missed a couple since. He has had an impact, though. Rwanda's uh, number eight. Three rebounds and five points since coming on. And they've won it back again here. And here he is again. Another three-point attempt, and it's missed once more. A chance for South Sudan to make them pay. That is a three. Nuni Omot draining that one to make it an 11-point lead again. And the two teams met in uh, Dakar back in February. It was Rwanda who led at the end of the first quarter by five. And they were still two ahead at the halfway stage. Went on to lose the game by 12, 68 to 56. There's a significant turnaround in the second half. Here it's been a sustained, comfortable advantage for South Sudan, really since quite early on. 11 points the difference at the moment. Still over five minutes left in the second quarter, so there's a lot of basketball to be played here. It's Kenny Gasana drawing the foul that time. There's Gasana again. And this time the call goes the other way. The South Sudan call a timeout for the first time in the game. Comes with them in a strong position here. They lead by 11 as things stand, 29 to 18.
Sad Sudan will be pretty happy at the moment. Steady progress in this game. Eleven point lead. Sunday Detch gets it back again from uh, Bull Kual. And it's more points on the board for South Sudan as they move into the 30s. Majok Deng. Adding another two to his total. This is Kenny Gasana. Trying to make things happen here for Rwanda. Gets the pass out for the three-point attempt, which is no good. Sunday Desch has it for South Sudan. Little behind the back pass into the corner. Three-pointer, no good. Good rebound claimed and put away. Deng Akwaf. Banks it in. And that lead is stretching. Biggest lead of the game so far, up to 15 points. A long two is missed. The ball just won't fall at the moment for Rwanda. Gray. Abimana. Turnover. Breakaway opportunity. Sunday Detch into the corner again. Oh, thrown down. Paddy at Wang. And they continue to pull away here, South Sudan. Still the three-pointers don't fall, but Gray has the chance here. And what an opportunity not taken. He was looking for the foul. Three-point attempt is good. That is another huge blow for Rwanda. And Majok Deng enjoyed that one. It's a 20-point lead for South Sudan. As another timeout is called, 38-18. It's a big, big lead. Rwanda, unsurprisingly, calling the timeout here with a big gap opening up. Well, that was the three-pointer just before the timeout was called. And celebration says it all, really. Majok Deng enjoying that moment. Eight points for him in the game. 
three from six from the field. 20 points the lead now for South Sudan, that place in the second round of qualifying for the World Cup looking increasingly likely. They will be secure in their position with a win today. Two games to play in this qualifying window, in this round of qualifying. Up against the Tunisia and Cameroon, who go head to head, of course, a little later today. This is game day four of six in this first round of qualifying. Well, two from two. The points that are desperately needed by Rwanda. Still there by Kenny Gasana. Can they make another impact on the scoreline? Oh, well, just wouldn't quite fall, but Kendall Gray claims the rebound. And it's been stolen again here by Rwanda and suddenly have a bit of a spark once again three-point attempt is good Kenny Gasana what a little passage of play that was for Rwanda seven points in quick succession and South Sudan still with a big lead but in the space of a few seconds, really, Rwanda have come roaring back with their best spell of the game so far. South Sudan call a timeout, unsurprisingly. Their 20-point lead cut to 13 in a matter of moments, 38-25. Great moment here from Kendall Gray. Playing the rebound, threw it down. Big three-pointer to follow from Gasana. It's just sparked a bit of confidence in the hosts here. A little over two minutes to go. Kenny Gasana again. He's going to go for the three initially. He wasn't able to do that. Thirteen points the difference here. Sunday Dech trying to weave a way through. Koch Bar. A 
Less than half a second on the shot clock here for South Sudan. And surprisingly, they weren't able to make anything of it. Ninety seconds left in the first half. 28, 38 rather, to 25. 13 point lead. Gasana couldn't get it to go. The rebound is well claimed. Sunday Dech. Much better from Rwanda in these last few minutes. The uh, layup is a good one. Paddy at Wang takes his total to six, three from four from the field for him. It's a 15 point lead with less than a minute left in the first half. They've just managed to weather a, a mini storm created by Rwanda. They've had the momentum for a short while and they're looking to have another impact here. Kendall Gray couldn't quite gather control. And South Sudan on the counter, thrown down. And Gorkwani, top scorer in the game, double digits for him. Pretty much identical shot and game clocks here as we go into the closing seconds. The miss two, one last attempt to come here on the buzzer. It's no good, and that is the end of the first half here in Kigali, South Sudan, with an impressive 17-point lead. It was just a little spell a few minutes ago that saw Rwanda mount a bit of a fight back. They got the deficit down to 13, having been 20 points behind at one stage. And South Sudan two quarters away from securing a place in the second round of qualifying, 42 to 25 the halftime score here in Kigali. Well, South Sudan, as you would expect, better in all departments, really. Seven three-pointers in that first half, seven from 19. They hit overall. Turnovers pretty similar, rebounding slightly better from uh, South Sudan's point of view. Kumani reaching double digits, first player to do that in this game. He leads the scoring charts here in this crucial qualifier. And South Sudan know that a win here today takes them to the next phase of qualifying with two games to spare, although those games will be significant because the results matter in the next round. Well, Rwanda actually started quite well in this game. They took a, a relatively early lead in the very early stages, up 5-2 at one point. But uh, shortly after that, they fell behind and they never really looked back. Did uh, South Sudan, they uh, asserted their dominance over the course of the game. And midway through that second quarter, they found themselves 20 points ahead, 38 to 18. And there's just a little flurry from Rwanda that kind of got them back into it briefly. They cut that gap again to 13 points. Well, they were nine points down at the end of the first quarter, 17 points down by the halfway stage. If they do lose this one, Rwanda, then they'll be under pressure, severe pressure in the next two games to try and get themselves off the bottom of this group table. It would be none and four going into their game tomorrow. South Sudan will play Tunisia. It's Cameroon for Rwanda and Cameroon so far have one win 
They'll be trying to pick up their second later this evening when they take on Tunisia, who have uh, two wins out of three. With their only defeat coming, of course, to South Sudan, who've been unbeaten so far. That's a great play from Paddy at Wang, one of the plays of the game. And uh, as I say, it was a 20 point lead at one stage. This was where the mini revival happened. Kendall Gray getting that going. Kenny Gasana knocked down a three shortly after that as well. And there's just a couple of turnovers that got the Rwandan fans excited. And as we got closer to the end of that first half, it was all about South Sudan. They have a massive lead, 17 points. The difference at the halfway stage will be back in a few minutes with the second half. Who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of an entire nation? Representing your people and their dreams, the colorful faces in the streets, the screaming fans in the stands. It's time to make your move. All eyes on you, all hope, all heart. Because when you win, you win for all. Now the three on the bottom of the shot clock. Almost a last resort type option from Poya. Dula now with the ball. Crosses over, gets his pocket picked, and guess who's on it? Woo! Reverse dunk. Lovely little dunk by Njai there. Extra pass, wide open for three. Yeah, I love, love the break, love the ball movement. Abada is the recipient of the last pass. They spaced it, shared it, and got the shot they wanted. Let's get it into Ibois. Step through, finish doesn't go. Great offensive rebound for him. Sell the fake, throws it down. Well. Time running down. Can they get one more score? Shots up long two is off and a throwdown. What a finish by Prono. Holy cow! Exclamation mark. And it goes. Oh, he tried to go with a reverse two-handed jam. And Deem just had no success. And wow, not in their own house. Hi, Pono. Which gives Kenya another chance to run and even better draw the big. Whoa, what an effort from Kenya in this fourth. Kusha puts it up from the elbow and Bibu with the rebound and the block by Odero. Ligare pulls up off the glass for three at the buzzer. The bank is open in Dakar, Senegal, and Ligare finds it off the glass. Near travel against Gakuf. And then the finish is good down the middle. Wang out of nowhere explodes to the basket.
Well, welcome back to uh, Kigali. Second half of this crucial qualifier is just a few minutes away. South Sudan leading Rwanda comfortably at the end of the uh, first half by 17 points, 42 to 25. Gorkwani leading the way in terms of uh, points, 10 points for him in that first half. A quad with eight rebounds. And they were pretty dominant throughout the game, really. 5-2 down in the uh, very early stages, but haven't trailed since then. Managed to get themselves in front again pretty quickly. And at one stage, they did lead by 20 points. And it's looking like a huge task ahead for Rwanda, who desperately need the win here. Three defeats from three games in the last qualifying window. And it's going to take a, a huge effort to turn things around in this second half. It's not impossible. 17 points. They had a, a flurry of activity in that second quarter when they went from 20 points down to 13 points down within a matter of seconds, really. Three quick scores just to boost their hopes for South Sudan wrestled back control in the closing stages of that second quarter. They ended up being uh, nine points clear at the end of the first and then 17 by the end of the second. A reminder to download the World Cup qualifiers app to keep across all the action over the next few days in this qualifying window. An awful lot happening. Oh, here in Kigali. A 17-point lead for South Sudan over Rwanda. Victory for South Sudan ensures a place in the next phase of qualifying and keeps their hopes of becoming one of the five African teams to make it to the World Cup very much alive. Rwanda will not be out of it even if they do lose today, but it will become an increasingly difficult task to turn things around. None and three going into this qualifying window. Rwanda, they host the games here for the next three days. Tunisia and Cameroon, the other opponents they'll face. South Sudan, three wins out of three in the last window. Another win today. They are guaranteed to finish in the top three of this group and move on to the second phase. And can Rwanda in the yellow get off to a good start in the third quarter? No joy with that first attempt from Mpoyo and now a three-point attempt from the corner, no good. And uh, still no change to the scoreboard since the start of the second half. Another three-point attempt missed and the rebound claimed by Nuniamot. Three-pointer attempted at the other end of the court. And Kenny Kasana claiming the rebound. First few minutes of this third quarter you feel are going to be crucial for Rwanda if there's a standard chance here. Float it up and it just won't go for Ndia Saba and Diezeas. South Sudan again make them pay with the fast break. Sunday Desh with the throw down. 13 points from turnovers in this game. It's been a big feature of their performance and a big reason why that lead has been uh, so sizable throughout this contest. 44-25. Rwanda need a response here. They will get two. Kendall Gray taking his tally to five. This to make it a 20-point lead, though, for South Sudan. Denga Kwoth, for once, unable to claim the rebound. He's got nine already. Three-point attempt here, an open three missed, and Sunday Detch Bringing the ball away for South Sudan, looking to go alone, couldn't finish. And Kendall Gray gathers. And Poyo. Another chance for a three-pointer, and again, it's no good. They missed a lot of three-point attempts. In that first half, Rwanda, and they are being punished at the moment. Ball call. 
does to make it a 20-point lead for the second time in this game. A very, very good opening three minutes of this second half for South Sudan. Another three-point attempt, this one is good. Boy, did Alex and Poyo need that. Bounce pass is a good one. Kendall Gray claiming the rebound once more. Robbins. And Poyo goes for the three. And if he'd made another one, it might have just sparked a bit of hope there for Rwanda. Another three-point attempt at the other end of the court, and Robbins claims it well. Paul Keol, no joy there, would have taken his Points tally into double digits. Mpoyo spins away and can't finish. Denga Kwok with another rebound. He's taken his total to 11. Three-pointer at the other end. Devastating. Nuni Olmot takes South Sudan to 50. Robbins. William Robbins goes for the huge three and knocks it down. Just clinging on at the moment. They are matching South Sudan in this third quarter so far. Eight points each since the restart. Almost halfway through it. Sunday Detch. And again, nice pass. Quick hands from South Sudan, another three-pointer attempted. Akwath this time can't claim it. Kasana oh, handed it off nicely. Just lacked a little bit of composure there, Rwanda. Robbins. Kasana. Goes for the two. Comes to nothing again. was well claimed, the whistle had already gone, so the two won't count. Paddy at Wang drawing the foul. Gasana, rather, it was, he drew the foul from uh, Deng Akwath. That was the first foul, that's the one that's been penalised by the officials. Kasana knocks down the free throw. Technical foul there, that's the reason for the free throw. It's the bench. That's the source of the foul. The reason for the trip to the line. Thirty-four points to fifty. Sixteen points the difference now. So Rwanda just ahead in this third quarter as things stand with four minutes fifteen seconds still to go in it. Can chip away at that lead, give themselves a fighting chance in that fourth quarter. And they'll maybe start to believe here, and that'll help. Hagamintuari 
gets the two. Foul called here. Liam Robbins can't have any complaints. Taddy at Wang to Gakroth. Does draw the foul. Hagaman Dwari penalised. The free throws are missed. That's another little boost for Rwanda. Gasana. Oh, Gasana. Frustrated at that turnover. Committing the foul as well. Three-point attempt, oh, didn't quite drop, but a good rebound. Great block there. Once again, that just gets this crowd going. Kenny Gasana. Kendall Gray just lost his footing, and then the ball. And away come South Sudan here. The layup is missed. Hagamint Wari looking for the pass, and Gasana got hold of it and drew the foul. A few more encouraging signs for Rwanda in this third quarter now. Two and a half minutes left, and Gorkwani top scorer for South Sudan in that first half, coming back onto the court. Ten points for him. Foul drawn again here, Paddy at Wang. The guilty party. Kendall Gray is starting to have more of an impact here. A couple of Big blocks in this game. Five points, four rebounds, one assist. Needs to knock these two down, you feel. There's the first. And the second. And it was a 17-point lead at half-time. It's 12 points now for South Sudan. Next couple of minutes here before the end of the third quarter are going to be crucial. There's a big opening here. That's great defence again. And once again, the crowd lifted here. Open three, opportunity makes it. Robbins 
And it's a single digit deficit now. They're starting to believe inside this arena. Paddy at Wang goes for the three. Can't get it to go. The final touch is off a South Sudan player. And Rwanda have almost halved the deficit since half time here. Nine points. That's another foul. Listen to the noise at the moment. It had just gone a little quiet around about the start of this second half. Faraha missing the first of his free throws. but makes the second, and they continue to chip away at that South Sudan lead. It's eight points now. Calm heads required here on both sides for different reasons. Two point missed, and the foul is called again. early in this second half. South Sudan have got their lead back up to 20. They led 50 points to 30 at one stage. It's 13 points in a row without reply for Rwanda now. They could make it 14 here and make this a six point game. Come back seemingly materializing out of nowhere two from two and almost turned over again that's a good pass that is a foul Mintuari it was penalized and 14 points without reply for Rwanda they've made it back to a six-point deficit from 20 and Gore Kuani makes the first of the free throws Two more for South Sudan's top scorer there. And Kowal with the foul. William Robbins drawing it on this occasion. Can he cut the gap to six again? Less than a minute to go in the third quarter. Oh, 
staying in touch. Still over half a minute left in this third quarter. South Sudan. Certainly nowhere near as comfortable as they were. And they've not been able to add to the scoreboard there. Now Rwanda could be a lot closer at the end of this third quarter if they can make this play count. A couple of seconds difference between the shot and the game clock. They don't want to give South Sudan another opportunity. So they run it down as much as they can. It's a long two. It's good! And Shabos Wabio, Senna Makuza with a big, big two-pointer right at the end of the third quarter, and it is game on here. Extraordinary third quarter there from the hosts. Right back in contention. Within four at the end of the third, 52 to 48. Well, that was quite something from Rwanda. Suddenly started hitting those three pointers. Just started making more shots overall. You can see South Sudan with uh, much higher accuracy overall. But look at the number of free throws that Rwanda have had. They made 18 from 21 as well, 86%. That is a big number. 13 points more from the foul line than their opponents. And that has got them pretty close. Well, early on in that third quarter, it felt like South Sudan were just going to run away with it. They were 17 points ahead at half time. Twice in the third quarter, they were up by 20 points. At one stage, they led 50 points to 30. Since then, it's 18 2 in favor of Rwanda. What an incredible run they've been on in the last six or seven minutes. 13 points, the difference in that quarter, 23 to 10 in Rwanda's favor. Highest scoring quarter from either team in this game. Started hitting those three pointers. And they will start to believe that they can complete it. An incredible comeback. Big two right at the end there from Jean-Jacques and Shobos Wabio Senemakisa. Seven points from him in the game, eight from William Robbins. No one has double digits yet for Rwanda. Nine points for Kenny Kasana. They've spread the points well. And they have slowly but surely worked their way back into the contest. At one stage, 20 points down. At half time, 17 points down. Almost ready to get underway in the fourth quarter. Here in Kigali, final quarter, Rwanda 48, South Sudan 52. South Sudan will guarantee their place in the next phase of qualifying with a victory. They're 10 minutes away from achieving that, but Rwanda are responding. Can they get the first points on the board in this fourth and final quarter? It's a three-point attempt. It is no good. And much relief for South Sudan. He might just be able to create a bit of breathing space here. The rebound is well claimed. The foul is called. corner again three-point attempt no good no change to the scoreboard yet in the fourth quarter three points attempted here it's good William Robbins has turned this into a one-point game 
something that seemed impossible at half time. The response is good though. Much needed three pointer from South Sudan. Bull Kiol knocking it down. He's into double digits for the game. And the four point lead has been restored. Keep the pressure up here, Rwanda. That's a missed two-point attempt from Faraha. A long three is good. Couple of big moments for South Sudan. Back-to-back -back threes. And it's that man again, Bull Koyol. Who all of a sudden has had a huge say in this contest. Five second violation there. Nakamantwari. Frustrating moment for him and for Rwanda. But it is very much game on here still. Tomot. Finds a court. Out for another three point attempt. This could be big, and it's no good. Rebound is claimed. Sunday Desh. Out to the far side for a three point attempt. Well, three threes without reply so far. And it's Kual again, who has single-handedly opened up a big lead once again for South Sudan. It was a one-point game until he got involved. Three three-pointers in a row from him. And it's a 10-point deficit once more. And he's just started to quieten down the Rwanda fans again who are really starting to believe and rightly so and that was a costly couple of minutes for Rwanda who have got to do a lot of hard work again 10 points down timeout called 61-51 Well, a big couple of minutes for Bull Kuyol in particular. Those three three-pointers, it's taken him onto 16 points. He's now the top scorer in the game, but those nine points, so crucial. Just when Rwanda had got themselves back to within one, that's how quickly things can change. It's been a... An outstanding second half here. And there's still a long way to go, plenty of time for things to swing once again. But South Sudan are really piling the pressure on now. Another three, Nuni Omok this time. 
Devastating. Sixty-four fifty-one. Sunday Desh. Passing the ball around well, keeping possession and making it count here. South Sudan. Sunday Desh with a floating jump shot to open up a big lead once more. 14 points without reply. 15 points the difference again. And all that hard work slowly being undone here. Frustrating for Rwanda. Kendall Gray is down. Drew the foul from the man who really has inspired South Sudan in this fourth quarter, those three three-pointers. When they were trailing by, or they were leading by one, rather. The momentum was very much with the opposition. The man has been penalised here. As Kendall Gray gets some treatment. An animated discussion here between official and coach. Just want to have another look at it. the arm of Kyol that strikes Kendall Gray. That's an unsportsmanlike foul, that is the decision. So they just wanted to check. Gray drawing the foul. The two free throws. But uh, Kendall Gray, I think, is uh, perhaps not going to be involved again in this game. Maybe that he just needs to leave the court for treatment at the moment. Placed by Bigger and Whammy. And 
discussion still going on. As the South Sudan team are unhappy at the moment. Well, Ivy just trying to settle things down a little here. South Sudan's coach. So Bigger and Wami, who's uh, replaced Kendall Gray, who's needing a bit of treatment after that collision. Has missed the first free throw. They just lost that momentum that they had. Rwanda, there's still a long way to go. They can get it back, there's plenty of time, but that is frustrating. And Salim, Figueroa and Wami, unable to make the most of those free throws. Rwanda still trailed by 15, three point attempt here. No joy for Kenny Gasana. Rebound claimed. Kazenza looking to go all the way. Just about kept it alive here. Here's Kenny Gasana. Another three-point attempt. They need threes here at the moment, Rwanda. That one is no good and easily claimed by Nuni Amot. Here he is again. Draws the foul. And we'll go to the line for two free throws. Still a 15-point lead. Superbly done. Two from two for Nuni Amot. 13 points. And a calm head when required, and the lead is now 17 as it was at half time here. Remember, not so long ago in this quarter, they were only leading by one. been missed and it's another rebound Deng Akwaf taking his rebound tally to 13 now and the steal Might give uh, Rwanda something here and that is much needed three points First three-pointer since right at the start of this fourth quarter where they cut that deficit to one with another three. But a quick response from South Sudan and Paddy and Wang. And the two-point layup. Chance for another three here. Oh, it's 
Superb. And Gore Kouani nailing it. And it's a 19 point lead now as Rwanda call a timeout. Their remarkable fight back has just fallen apart in the last few minutes. And South Sudan have a huge lead again here. And it's those fans who are celebrating. Almost job done for South Sudan. And just over three minutes away from securing their place in the next round of qualifying for the World Cup. Keeping their dream alive. And Zampoyo banks it in for two. Fifty-six seventy-three. Anduni, I'm not drawing the foul. Dengakov leaves it for Sunday Detch. Nuniomot for three once more. And Kendall Gray is back, bandaged head. Another three-point attempt coming here, and that is a good one. That is superb from Alex and Poyo. It's a 14-point difference now. 59-73. It's the steal. And another three-point attempt. And it does almost feel as though the belief has gone from Rwanda. They really made an incredible fight of it in the second half. 20 points down. Two within one. Before they were blown away again. It's an ambitious attempt there. As Kasana has it here for Rwanda. It's another block for Kendall Gray. Fifty-nine seventy-three, one eighteen left on the clock. It's a fourteen point lead at the moment. It was a twelve point victory for South Sudan in Dakar in February when these two teams last met. And it's a twelve point difference now as Rwanda. Get two more through Happy Mana, and we'll get another two. Alex Mpoyo, who has 
Started to rack up the points here. 15 for him in the game. 10-point game now. Timeout called by a South Sudan. Just trying to settle things down here. They've just let their concentration slip a little. Still have a comfortable lead with a minute to go. They are so close to making sure they are still very much in the qualification hunt. Be guaranteed a place in the second round with victory here. That's the headline result. Doesn't necessarily mean that Rwanda are out of the reckoning, but it certainly makes things difficult with games against Cameroon and Tunisia to come. The likelihood is they're going to have to win both of those to avoid finishing bottom of the table. And they have certainly made a, a contest of this in the second half, although they haven't actually led since the early stages of the first quarter. But there was definitely that spell where they just got closer and closer and closer. one point where they had hit 21 points with the South Sudan's reply of just two to go from 50-30 down to 52-51 with a 10-point lead here South Sudan are getting closer they've drawn another foul here Kendall Gray penalised. And just going back to that stage in the game where it was a one point deficit, 52 51. We then saw three consecutive three pointers, which really changed the game altogether. Full Cuyol. He was the man who revived South Sudan's challenge. They were in serious trouble. And all of a sudden, he took all their worries away within the space of a couple of minutes, if that. And what followed was a flurry of points, which has put this game pretty much beyond doubt now. Just half a minute left. It's a 10 point difference. Another three point attempted here. It's no good. Step back for another three. And missed by Happy Manor. And South Sudan can see out the remaining seconds here. And there it is. South Sudan move into the second phase of qualifying. It's four wins out of four in Group B. Their challenge is very much alive. A place in the World Cup for the first time ever. Just got a little bit closer. Rwanda have it all to do if they're to even make it to the next round of qualifying, beaten for a fourth time in a row. And in the end here by 10 points, South Sudan winning 73 to 63. Well, Rwanda's challenge is not yet over. And a 10-point difference at the end doesn't really reflect the game as a whole. South Sudan pretty dominant in that first half, 17 points up at half-time. But the response from Rwanda in the second half was really quite something. And early on in the fourth quarter, they were very much in this game. They went from 20 points down, 50 points to 30, to one point behind. 52 to 51, an incredible fight back. 
And then all of a sudden, that's a flurry of threes, three consecutively from a single player as well. Huge contribution from Bull Kuyol. who really made a massive difference at that point in the game when it really mattered. And Rwanda certainly fought so hard in that second half, the latter end of the third quarter, and early in the fourth quarter as well. It was almost an incredible comeback from the hosts who were so far behind. 20 points was the biggest deficit in the game. It happened a few times, three times in total. In fact, the difference between the two sides was 20. And after that, it was as little as one. Ended up being a 10-point win for South Sudan. And just looking uh, back at some of the top performers, Today, in terms of Rwanda, Alex Apoyo had a bit of a late flurry, 15 points in the end for him, four rebounds as well. Nobody else made double digits, nine points for Kenny Gasana with four rebounds. And six rebounds for Kendall Gray, seven points. Decent contribution from him, eight rebounds and 11 points for William Robbins, closest player to a a double-double for Rwanda. It wasn't quite enough, just overall. Needed somebody maybe to take control of the game. And there were a few in that South Sudan team who did just that. Three of them made double digits. Nuni Omot, 13 points, 16 points for Bulkuyol. I mentioned those three three-pointers that took the score from 51, from 52-51 to 61-51. Uh, in such a short space of time. And from that point on, really, there wasn't too much doubt about which way the game was heading. Nuni Omo, solid performance all round from him. 13 points, five rebounds, one assist. Seven points and 10 rebounds and eight assists from Sunday Detch. He had a huge part to play, played almost 36 minutes. Maybe the biggest contribution of all coming from him. And in the end, South Sudan doing the business, getting the job done. That is four wins out of four in this qualifying group now. Well, this is what it does to the group table. Rwanda in trouble, no wins from four games. South Sudan already through to the next phase. They will want to keep their outstanding record going. They still play Tunisia and Cameroon before the end of this qualifying window and before this qualifying stage comes to an end, but they will be in the next one. Tunisia and Cameroon meet here in about uh, an hour from now. That's the next game to come in this group. It's big for both teams who are trying to catch South Sudan, who have won again here.